Hi and welcome to Empower TV. My name is Josephine Campbell, but Empower TV is about you. This is the channel for you who like to empower yourself and your business so you can get a big larger surplus. And today I'd like to explain to you about stress factors. I'm trying to answer the question I got, which is why am I stressed out? How did I get stressed? So um, very often stress is a response to many factors. And as an executive coach, I have clients who are suffering from stress. And a lot of it can be work-related, but very often there are more than one factor influencing. I'd like to divide the stress factors into three groups. They're the work-related, they're the private-related, and then they're the everyday stress factors. Let me explain to you. Work-related stress factors very, origin, very often origins from the feeling that you are not able to deliver and succeed in whatever you're doing. So the worst situation you can be in is in a situation where you have a very high responsibility but you have a very low influence on actually how, how you will deliver this. So if you're being micromanaged or if you have too few resources to solve too large a, a task if you got too little time too few people in your team too small a budget and you know it maybe someone else is blocking the process or it feels like someone else is blocking the pro process because you're depending on someone else to be able to deliver your results but you cannot get through that's a major stress provoker looking at the private life factors that can release stress, it very often have to do with changes, both positive and negative changes. It can be if someone dies, if someone is ill, it can either be yourself or someone else, moving, having a child, getting married. All major, all major changes in your private life have influence on your stress level. And the third group of, of stress factors are the ones that I call everyday life factors. They are not releasing stress themselves, though they can be very annoying. But if you're already a little stressed and you're exposed to these kind of situations, it can increase your level of stress. And these stress factors are such as tra heavy traffic, noise and disturbances. You see, if you are using your brain and your concentration to actually do your work, you need peace and quiet. No, you cannot do several things at the same time. You cannot watch TV and listen to something and at the same time write something intelligent. If you use your brain for your work, you need focus and you need peace of mind to be able to do prime work. So um, in many companies, it's fashionable with uh, these open offices and if something is happening in the office and noise or you have co-workers or a boss or employees asking your questions while you're working that is stressing you out and that's very normal you, your brain doesn't like it your brain likes to focus and be immersed in what you're doing so try and see if you can get more peace for, for whatever it is, I hope you're not suffering from this, but it can be really good to know what is causing stress. And if you've got any more questions for me, please write down here in the comments. Also, I'd really appreciate to get a thumbs up or thumbs down to see whether you like the video or not, so we can see how we can improve. And in all cases, thank you for watching the video.